uh, film in Atlanta, uh, actually in Covington. But they put all of uh, the um, guest casts in hotels in downtown Atlanta. Anyone from Atlanta? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Yes, you are. Of course you are. <laughs> We, they put all of us in uh, hotels in downtown Atlanta and Midtown Atlantic Station. I think it's called Atlantic Station. And I was so fracking hungry when I got in. <laughs> and um, I fracking. Yeah. <laughs> fracking. Yeah. Ah, fracking. Um, I was so hungry that the only I got a, I got in at about 11 p.m. and I started walking down Peachtree Street. There's a few of them in Atlanta, I always get confused. And um, I went to Hooters. <laughs> Three good reasons. They have great wings. They have great wings. And the other two, thank you very much. We should be a team. You can keep me. Come take a bite. And uh, so I went to Hooters, and the waitress was very nice. She was like, you're not from here, are you? I said, no. And you do the whole thing. Like, where are you from? Uh, I live in Los Angeles. What do you do? Uh, I'm an actor. Really? What are you working on? I have so-called vampire diaries. <gasps> <gasps> Where's Ian? Oh my God. Like she, it wasn't even about me at all. It was about Ian or something. Which was totally cool. I loved it. She was just like, is he here? Is he here with you? Is he here right now? Is he in the bathroom? I like, uh, I believe he's probably at home learning his lines. I don't, I, you know, he's not with me. <laughs> What's he like? That's why I, so the, and women love him and they love Paul, you know. And Paul's my buddy, that's why I kind of root for Paul. But uh, uh, Ian and Paul are two awesome dudes. Uh, I love working with them. Um, Ian and I haven't had any scenes yet. Paul and I haven't had any scenes yet, but we're always on set at the same time, it seems like, and I, and, as well as Ian. And they're just super, Nice, fun, uh, smiling, happy to be at work kind of actors. Those are my favorite actors to work with, you know. And uh, they're very much like uh, Jared and Jensen. They're, they they know what they have, and they appreciate it. And that's when you know you're working with a good uh, on a good TV show or a good movie. So yeah, a wonderful guy. And he's of course extremely handsome. Uh, <laughs> and um, his brother. You guys know about his brother's organization, right? Uh, Bob. Yeah, so they, they are trying to bring Bob to different conventions throughout Europe, and, and uh, his brother is equally as, as nice guy, and, and uh, he was at the Vegas convention for Vampire Diaries, and I met him, and, and, and this is a really good family that he comes from, so. Thank Did you. I answer your questions? Yeah. Okay. If I get, if I get too long-winded, you go like this. Wrap it up. Now I enjoy. Wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Yes? Thank you. Hey, hey, how are you? Good. First of all, thank you for singing Renegade with me. Like, Man, you, you. That was great. You don't have to thank me. I want to thank you. I saw you come up another, stage. another great singer here. We got some real singers there. I can't really sing. I just, I do the backup dancing. You know. When, when you broke out in New Kids on the Block, and the dance, <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, I guess my question now, and I go back to Murder One, Ricky Latrell. And Murder One season two, and then CSI, so yes. seen some shows of that. When I look at a show like that compared to Supernatural, and all the guests and all the speakers the last two days, right. I get the feeling that backstage at Supernatural, it's very easy going, it's very lighthearted, it's very fun. Right. But I picture some of these other shows being very serious backstage. <laughs> Don't joke around. I mean, is there a big difference between Supernatural and these other shows you've worked on? I think I think there is, and I think. Um... Uh, like I did in YPD Blue, that was one of my first jobs I ever did, and I played a detective on NYPD Blue. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was... NYPD Blue was why I moved to Los Angeles. Like, I, I wanted to be on a show like that. And, um, it took about a year, and I, my agent finally, uh, got me a meeting with Stephen Bosco and producers, and like, hey, you make a great detective? Yeah, I was hired. <laughs> um, but it's a very tense set. I don't know why it's like that. I don't know if it's because it's a cop show um, or David Caruso, or you know, you know, like what. <laughs> and I happen to love David Caruso, and, uh, but there's someone sets a tone that trickles down, and it's like if you forget your line or you miss your mark, people look at you like. So you think Jensen and Jared maybe set the tone? Yeah, the they totally, I think they totally do. This is an excellent, excellent point. And they set the tone. It starts with them, and it trickles down to the entire 100 plus crew. And, and the rest of us who come on as guests. So when we go to work, 
I mean, I always tell this story, like when I did There Will Be Blood, I pull up and the, uh, uh, the driver, the teamster pulls me up in the van in Vancouver, and there's no one, everyone's on set filming, except one guy, way off in the distance, real tall guy, and he's riding a little mini bike like this. He's just riding around in circles. And then I was like, that's Jared. <laughs> he pulls up to the van on the mini bike. You know, Jared's 6'5", you know? He gets out off the mini bike. I get out of the van. He's like, dude, give me a hug. And out of, out of the 60 plus movies and TV shows I've done, that's never happened. <laughs> so it, I gotta give these guys credit for being the, just the men that they are, the guys they are. Yeah. So, I thank you. Thank you. Hold on, Jenny. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm fine. Um, my question is basically answered, but what was the difference between working on, like, working with the cast of Supernatural versus, like, Vampire Diaries? Like, um, we know Supernatural fools around, like, fool around a lot, and, like, pick on new people, like, how is Vampire Diaries? You mean pranks? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it's her question. Yeah, that's good. Is that what you mean, pranks? Yeah. Uh, there wasn't too many pranks uh, really on either side. There was just more, it was more kind of like a fun set to be on, you know? Um, like, there's a great scene where, um, there's a great scene where uh, the alpha man throws Jensen across the table. Remember when there would be blood? And Jared was like, this is gonna be awesome, dude. He's like, you got an iPhone? I said, yeah. <laughs> he says, here, I'm gonna stand over here and we're gonna record it for you. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna just fuck him up. <laughs> and that's the kind of energy that I love to be around. I love to work with people who are, love the, what they're doing and they're enthusiastic, you know. Um, like something like that could never, if it ever happened on other shows I've worked on. Um, Vampire Diaries is, I'm pretty new to the show. Um, even though I've actually done more episodes of Vampire Diaries than I have Supernatural at this point. I just finished one last two weeks ago. So it's, it's kind of a different tone, a different set. Um, but when Paul is around, if Paul Wesley is around, there's going to be some pranks. <laughs> he knows how to make me laugh, you know. And he, he, he just knows how to press that right button to make me giggle. And, and then I got to get a really serious scene with that. Yeah, so, yeah. did I answer the question? Yeah. Okay. So you gotta let this wrap it up, right? Hi. Wait, hi, how are you? How are you doing? It's so good to see you, Jennifer. You too. You are, this is a, a, a brilliant a jazz musician that's standing right here. Thank you. Brilliant. Brilliant. How many of you have been singing for? Like five. Flute? Saxophone. Irish flute. Irish flute. Cowboy flute. Irish flute. And the other? Yeah. Love it. I just had a question. Um, sorry. I was wondering what you think would happen if the Alpha Vamps and the Vampire West Dad had met. Someone else. Really, really good question. Thank you. Um, they've actually all been great questions, but no one's ever asked me. I'm too good. It would be, I think, a rock and roll party. Because <laughs> the staff, if you might recall, is just wild. He's with the hair and, you know, he's just crazy. Um, I actually was rewatching the video with them like, maybe a couple months ago. Um, I think they would be, I think they would have a lot of fun together. I don't think there would be any kind of, you know, fighting or. Someone's got to kill someone, I think it's, someone's got to take the other one down. I think it would be more kind of like, hey man, let's just go out and slaughter them. Drink some water. It's always a good thing. Would he like Lewis? Mm hmm? Would he also like Lewis? Maybe. Possibly. Yeah. It, it, it sort of depends. I think the thing about the outcome is that he's so on his own. He's kind of just being, you know, El Jefe, the boss. You know, that he doesn't really need a lot of people around. You know, Ray does though. I love to be around people. <laughs> but the other band is more um, of a solitary figure that um, uh, has, has sort of seen it all. Has seen it all. Um, so, but, uh, did I answer your question? Yes, you did. Thank you. And I was really hoping you'd come up and 
play something and we'll leave it. Okay. How are we doing on time? We okay? We have Okay. Okay, just tell me, just tell me when. Okay, thanks. Okay, thank you. Isn't he great? I love the family too, his daughter and his wife, really, really want to. Hi. How are you? Watching your scene in the cage and your talk is anything about purgatory uh, makes my heart beat faster every time I hear you talk. It really does. <laughs> Last night's karaoke was fantastic. Oh, thank you. Um, I want to know, during the filming of that scene, how was it filmed that scene? It's such, it's such an intense scene, it's got a lot of exposition that even affects us into, into this season. Right. And Everything that's going on now. Right. So how was that that scene filmed? Did the directors put a lot of pressure on you? How was that? It's it's uh, uh I would love it if Guy B was here because he could help me answer this question. Um because together I mean I was sitting in the chair for maybe six hours, you know, and I don't know if you can if you can see but when I was when I was sitting in the chair there's like water on the on the floor. Like they really want to try to hold them down. They got the dead man's blood, they got electricity, they got water, you know. And um, I, I'm, I'm just kind of, they call it method actor, uh, which is actually we get into a different discussion about that later. But, um, I took off my shoes and socks, and like, I'm in the water, you know, I, let's just get dirty and do it, you know. And um, I put the pressure, I put a great deal of uh, expectation on myself to be, to be the best that I can do, the best job I can. A lot of pressure. Um, I was nervous because I wanted to do it right. And um, a guy helped me find the right level of right for him. You know, like I was, I was sometimes I was maybe a little too soft, sometimes a little bit too over the top. And then, then we do like a couple more takes and we like stay right there, just surf right there. <laughs> yeah, and we um, uh, got, got I don't know if I answered your question. No, you did. I did. Just keep talking. Just keep talking. <laughs> oh, God bless you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Okay, a couple more moments. Okay. Okay. I love you, Tina. I see you. I was hoping what happened in the Oscar Empire and Eddie. We both went back home. I absolutely know who that is. Um, and it's brilliantly played by Ty I just called Ty, called Ty two hours ago, I'm like, uh, Ty, where are you? <laughs> he was like, dude, we're at Vancouver Airport, I brought the wrong passport. Aww. He's on his way, he's on his way. So, uh, we'll see him tonight, and uh, Ty's a great guy, great guy. Um, Ty and I worked together on Fallen years ago, and so we're now preaching again. On the same show, we haven't done anything yet. Um, uh, I don't know if you follow me on Twitter, but um, I have tweeted his tweeted. I love that you say tweeted. <laughs> tweeted. Hashtag Betty come home. Because there needs to be there needs to be I love you guys. <laughs> there needs to be a um uh, a reckoning between Betty and the young man. There's a lot of there's a lot of story happening between two characters that is yet untold. And uh, I'll be honest, um I, I'm, a, I'm a bit frustrated because I need, I personally need it to, to get out, get it out of me. You know what I mean? I need to get out of and get out of this character. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm it's creeped into my dreams and so on. You know, I'm just like, Wow.